haven't had a chance to wrap my head around really much of it. And as a coach, I don't know that you ever do. I think, you know, after the bowl game, you take a deep breath maybe for a day or two and reflect on the season, especially when it's good. And then, boom, you're, you're right back at it, uh, recruiting and, and going to work. So uh, I'll leave the reflection uh, to when I retire. Well, that is Tom Herman talking about how it feels to be the new head football coach for the Longhorns. And joining us this morning to give us an in-depth look at Tom Herman and the football program is Quan Cosby, former wide receiver from 2005 through 2008. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. So you were telling me you have not met Coach Herman before. So No, I have not. So what are your thoughts, though, about him being hired on? Um, from a player's perspective, our thoughts are, and I guess fans, you know, they're excited and, and that's cool. You know, we want our fans to be happy, but from a former player standpoint, we'll be happy if they go to LA and beat USC, who's probably <laughs> going to be a top 10 team. Uh, it's about, you know, clearly from, you know, the decision, it's about wins and losses. So that's how we get fired up about it. You know, from a player standpoint, it's not as much superficial. Uh, we weren't, we didn't like when Mac left, mm -hmm. you know, and then we got to know Charlie. So we don't like when any of the coaches get fired. Because usually that means things aren't where they necessarily need to be. And so um, we, we're optimistic. You know, he opened the door to a lot of them. He made that comment. So I'm sure most of them will, will go, you know, check them out and, and see how it plays out. But um, excited. Uh, we're a little worried about the players that are already there. We're, we're going to do our part and let them know that it's not the end of the world. But uh, more than anything, just want to see how it all plays out. Yeah, let's talk about that because last week the players were showing such strong support for yeah. Coach Strong. As Strong was saying, he wanted to keep his job. He wanted right. to stay, and the players were there backing up. So what does Coach Herman do in this case to get those players on board? Well, um, Gene Stallings, I, I had the pleasure of meeting him, and one comment he said was, uh, it's funny because he, he's gotten in the Hall of Fame and so many things, but he's, he's not the one making the plays. And so for Herman right now, Coach Herman, he has to get those players to believe in him. Uh, they, they did love Charlie, and he has to get them. It, it's a rapport building from that perspective. And, and then our message to the players is you got to understand the business of college football. Um, ultimately, as, as we say in our circle, is we visit the club, we visit the country club, but we're not members. <laughs> and so as much as they want their um, you know, opinion and, and their feelings to, to be considered, uh, the schools and Mac Brown said it best, you know, these schools and he's when we got recruited by him He said Texas is bigger than even me, you know And so that was our mindset in preparing and so we'll share that with the players and hope that they stay and try to you know do for them and uh, The brothers next to them and, and be successful if they don't want things like this to continue to happen Next yeah, on the flip side of things some people were saying, you know, look at the loss to Kansas look at the loss to TCU mm -hmm these players really wanted to keep Coach Strong, they would have played harder for him. You know, and, and they would have. Uh, and, I, well, I say they would have gotten some wins because, uh, fortunately, I go to every game and we call the games, and they do play hard, you know. Uh, they, they play real hard. But they have to figure out a way to eliminate some of the mistakes. Uh, and, and at the end of the day, whether the NCAA or whoever wants to admit it, it's about wins and losses in the college sports business. And, and that's, you know, Five and seven at Texas is ultimately is unacceptable, but it, it is at a lot of places that have a name like Texas. So they have to figure out a way to uh, get those wins or uh, change that column drastically. Yeah, as you said, it's a business, and we'll wait to see what happens. Quan Cosby, thank you <laughs> thank so much. We appreciate it. All right, David, let's.